I'm Sergeant Gusman, and this is Military Working Dog Benny. I'm Staff Sergeant Starcher. Today we're at the Joint Base Elmendorf Ferguson Military Working Dog Kennels where the military working dogs stay. We've got Dutch Shepherds, Belgian Malinois, uh, German Shepherds. Generally, when the dogs pass the military working dog training course at Lackland and they get certified VNWDs and get sent out to the field, we're looking at usually three years old. When you first pick these dogs up, you're doing two weeks of report to get to build a baseline foundation, a baseline relationship with the dog, and then you start running into your training. Every time we pull these dogs, it's, it's training. It's all training. Benny, like the other dog, is a dual purpose uh, explosive detection dog. Dual purpose meaning that he's also trained for patrol and or bite work. So he's trained to find and scout for suspects in any area or structure. He's also trained on all the odors of explosives. This is our training yard and our obedience course, as you see here. Basic obedience is the foundation for everything we do as a dog team. The agility course or obedience course is physical conditioning for these dogs as well as obedience training for them. And it has a positive transfer of learning into other tasks. So when we get into real world obstacles, jersey barriers, cars, lifted trucks, or anything that these dogs need to get into, um, this obstacle course will help them. Crawl. Heap. Hops. Heap. Good job. Good. Decoying is the most underrated part of your job as a military working dog handler and can make or break the dog. Good. Stay. You have the bite pants and then you have a bite top and you have these neoprene sleeves which will go over my arms. That just softens the blow just a tiny bit, but you will feel the pressure in the suit from these dogs. Like having your arm or your leg caught in a vice, a vice that wants to eat you. Generally, the goal of these sessions is set these dogs up for success and make them feel confident as a decoy. So you have to be animated. They get a hold of your legs, you're gonna encourage that. Whatever you're, they're gonna get a hold of, you wanna encourage that behavior. And the goal is to get a nice full mouth bite and we want them to stay in place on that bite. And we want them to stay determined and stay in the fight. Good boy, hold him, good boy. So I can have a bad day at home or you know have a sad day. As soon as I walk to the kennel and I see my dog, I mean, it's just everything goes out the window because I know that I'm here for him, he's here for me, and just to love up on him. So I'm getting ready to head out for patrol uh, to protect J-Bear. And one last thing, I am J-Bear. <laughs> <laughs>